When somebody remakes a game, it usually means that they've updated the graphics a little bit, or they've fine-tuned the controls just enough, but for the most part, it's the exact same game. Now, video game companies have been doing this for years, and when it's been done, it's usually a game from the previous console generation coming to the current one. In fact, I just reviewed two games from the PlayStation 2 era that are now available on the PS3. They've been remade. So, what happens when you take an old Capcom game from 1989 and put it out on consoles currently available in 2013? Well, in the case of my next subject, you get quite the masterpiece. DuckTales Remastered is a remake of the original NES game. The story is the same from over 20 years ago. You play as Scrooge McDuck, master treasure hunter, and overall... rich duck. He is on a quest to find the lost legendary five treasures, and, um... Yeah, that's really about it. Yeah, the NES game really didn't need that much. I mean, you just sort of pogoed the living daylights out of everything and grabbed the treasures. It's everything else that they did that makes this game special. The gameplay and controls were almost completely spot on and untouched, so the extras came in several different surprises. For instance, the game has two extra levels, an intro level that introduces the controls and the exposition, and a final level for Scrooge to go through before getting to Dracula Duck. It adds a totally new experience for veteran players who to be honest, we'll go through the game pretty quickly. As for those old levels, Way Forward decided to change the layouts of them. They didn't completely change everything, though. Most of the levels are intact, but some of the weird parts were taken out and new sections have been added. Also gone is the time limit, so you have a chance to run around and explore every nook and cranny for every jewel you can find. Yep, Way Forward. They made this game. They also did this game that I reviewed a while back. They also have a game that's actually available on this console that they haven't price dropped yet! Uh, 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 anyway, uh, you'll need those jewels as the money totals are saved and can be used towards unlocking stuff in the gallery. This can be a bit hard if you play on easy or medium difficulties. However, anything beyond easy introduces a difficulty multiplier, making earning money easier. Anything above easy also reintroduces the live system, like the NES. Hard and extreme difficulties also cut down the number of life extensions back down to two, same as the NES, and reintroduce the hidden treasures, adding a third one in the Amazon. The gallery really is a treat, and it's not just because they show the art and stuff that they did behind the scenes. They also let you listen to the music, and in fact you get to see some of the old Disney animation cells from the old TV show. This really floored me, as I was surprised Disney let that stuff out in the first place. Speaking of Disney, the whole thing looks and feels like the old Disney afternoon cartoon. The look of all the sprites and backgrounds do seem like something out of DuckTales. The animation really is excellent, even on a small screen like the Wii U gamepad. WayForward also managed to contact every single voice actor that's still alive from the show, and amazingly, all of them turned up. So Scrooge still sounds like Scrooge, Gizmo Duck still sounds like Gizmo Duck, and Launchpad still sounds, well, like an idiot. Because of this, there's a lot of exposition that explains why Scrooge is on the treasure hunt in the first place, as well as his ability to breathe on the moon. 
The remix music is also top-notch. I've been following Jake Vert Kaufman for years, ever since he started with the old digital mod stuff, and listening to his rearranges has been gold for my ears. With all this effort, the term remastered just doesn't seem to fit. It's more like a reimagined version of the old game. Almost re... Imagineered. Yes, I know, that's a Disney term. <sighs> okay, Disney, you can have that one for free, but the next time, you gotta pay for it. As you can see, no amount of objectivity can remove the nostalgia glasses from my face, because Way Forward and Disney and Capcom really did a good job. So, where did they screw up? While I said the controls were spot on, they did mess up on the pogo jump a little bit. However, this one's really nitpicky, as it's the legendary hard pogo jump, which requires you to hold down an attack after you jump. However, they do mean down. Not down and right, or down and left, just down. I've tried it on both the Wii U and the PlayStation 3, and I've had the same result. Accidental damage, which is something you don't want in either hard or extreme difficulties. However, this could just be me. Some say it's not important, particularly in hard mode where you can just turn the hard pogo setting off. But it's something I feel they could have done right, as the old NES cartridge really didn't have this problem. I'm also not a fan of the save system. I understand that the dollar totals are supposed to be cumulative, so you can unlock all the extras in the gallery. But if you want someone else to experience the game, you have to start the game over and lose the ability to change stages after you beat the game. This is really felt in extreme mode, as after you beat it or get a game over, you immediately get sent to the title screen. I'd love to be able to earn more cash through the extreme mode, but I also think that multiple saves would also help with other people wanting to experience the game, particularly after unlocking everything in the gallery is no longer a goal. I have had friends who have had issues with both the hard pogo controls and the lack of multiple saves, so I know I'm not the only one on this. There's also a glitch on the Wii U version where viewing leaderboards tends to crash the system, so let's hope that gets patched up really quickly. With all that said, is DuckTales Remastered worth your cash? DuckTales Remastered is 15 bucks on the PS3, Wii U, and Steam, with the Xbox 360 version coming out September 11th. The PS3 also has an exclusive boxed version that comes with the case, box art, a cardboard coaster resembling a disc that tells you it doesn't actually have a disc, and a Scrooge McDuck pin that you've been seeing me wear today, all for $20. Boxed version aside, DuckTales Remastered, I feel, barely hits the worth it mark of $15. There's a great amount of content, the production values are amazing, and even after nearly 25 years, the gameplay still holds up. I get it at full price personally, and you know what? You should too. DuckTales Remastered holds up so well that it's actually a good game overall, not just a game from 1989 that has a new skin. It's actually one of the better downloadable titles out there, and in my opinion, you should go download this right now. I mean, whatever version you want to get it on. The 1989 game for the NES was a great game in its own right, and now in 2013, your modern consoles can have this gem too. No, I will not sing the song!